This project was completed by Ms. Dobson's environmental science class at Bristol High School in Bristolville, Ohio. During our chapter on agriculture, we ended by talking about food security. How much food is available for people to eat? The graph indicates that a $2.22 meal in New York City would cost $392.82 in South Sudan. We studied this graph and wondered the following questions. How does life compare in South Sudan to New York? How does South Sudan's government help with food issues there? What is the agricultural practices like in South Sudan? Why is the food cost in South Sudan so much higher than in New York? What is the education like in South Sudan? How does the average life compare in South Sudan to the U.S.? What kind of crops are grown in the South Sudan? What is soil like in South Sudan? We zoomed with Dr. Michael Jacobs, a rangeland scientist who had done research in South Sudan. He sent us pictures and gave us some insight into what life is like in South Sudan. How much of their diet is dairy-based. However, crops are also grown. There are few roads and not much infrastructure in South Sudan, so moving food to where people need it is sometimes very difficult. After considering all the questions, we decided to focus on one question. Why does South Sudan's food cost so much more than the U.S.? We also talked about why the question is so important to both people and the environment. Allison researched possible reasons why the soil would not be as healthy as soil in the U.S. We found out that the main agricultural areas in South Sudan are near the Nile River. Effects of the Nile River cause the soil to be very sandy, but also very wet. Levi suggested that we could try to develop an investigation that would compare the growth rate of plants in Ohio soil compared to soil like the South Sudan, sand bean. We decided to grow cotton because it is more common crop in South Sudan. Even though we can't eat cotton, we, just, we thought it would be a good indicator of overall crop growth. We, pres we predicted that Ohio soil would grow better and faster. We planted the seeds, watered them consistently, and placed them all under lights. The only variable we changed was the soil texture. For eight weeks, we recorded the height of all plants and then averaged the plant height for each soil texture. Our results shown that the cotton grew better in the soil that is less sandy. We also noticed that plants looked healthier in the Ohio soil. The leaves on the South Sudan plants looked crinkled and kind of crispy. The further investigations, we could test uh, other crops to see if these tend to remain true. Our conclusion is that soil health is an important reason why South Sudan does not have adequate food supplies. Soil is an important natural resource that needs to be protected for both environmental and social reasons.